Hello and welcome to another GCSE economics video with me, Mr. Goff, from MrGoff.com. Today's video will be focusing on evaluating the costs and benefits of specialisation for regions. Many regions specialise in certain industries in order to take advantage of the resources that they have available to them locally. This can be seen in the southwest of England, whose extensive coastline and many beaches make it a centre for tourism. London is both the seat of government and the home of the London Stock Exchange. It has a thriving specialism in financial services. And the North East has become a leader in offshore wind farm technology with its many ports and access to two of the world's biggest offshore wind farms. The development of a specialism in a region can help to provide jobs for the people of that region. These jobs will be close to their homes, reducing their commute and improving their quality of life. Infrastructure such as improved road networks and communication networks may be put in place to support specialist industries in a region. Specialist industries also attract supply industries that support them. If we take, for example, the offshore wind generation in the Northeast, other areas that have benefited from this, research and development, maintenance, design, and even logistics. One of the biggest costs a region can see from specialisation is if there's a fall in demand due to tastes and fashions changing and what they've specialised in is no longer in fashion. Many formerly fashionable UK seaside resorts are now run down and dilapidated because people prefer to take their holidays in warmer overseas climes. Another cost of specialisation is resource exhaustion. If raw materials are being mined and they run out, then those in the industry will lose their jobs. An example of this can be seen in the north of England where many mines were closed due to running out of coal. This left this region with high levels of unemployment and deprivation, which continue to this day. Another problem that can arise from specialisation is a loss of advantage. This is where another region or country becomes better at the specialism that your region has than you are. This can cause your industry to go into decline. An example of this can be seen in South Wales, which used to have a significant steel industry, but is unable to compete with cheaper steel being produced in Southeast Asia. This has already led to job losses with further jobs at risk and communities with high unemployment and again, high levels of deprivation. So to take a balanced look at this from both sides, if a region can capitalise on locally available resources, manage them sustainably, develop specialist industries that provide growth and infrastructure improvements while avoiding industries that are likely to go out of fashion or suffer from a loss of advantage, this will almost certainly be good for a region. However, if they manage the resources badly and suffer from resource exhaustion, or they suffer from a loss of advantage to another region or country, or their industry goes out of fashion, then it will be bad news for them and many resources will have been wasted. That concludes our look at the costs and benefits of specialisation for regions. I've been Mr Goff for MrGoff.com. I hope you'll join me again soon for another costs and benefits of specialisation video, this time about countries. Bye for now.